Mr. Chair, I'm ready whenever you are. Give uh, another minute here, so for Commissioner Carter to join us, then we'll start. All right, Mia, are you ready to start us here? I'm ready. Okay, I'll call the Housing and Redevelopment Authority meeting to order. Roll call, please. Carter? Here. Thank you. Fratham? Here. Maris Castillo? Here. McGuire? Here. Ortega? Here, sorry, here. <laughs> Thank you. Ortega? Aye. Reinhardt? Reinhardt? Sorry, I'm mute. Here. Thank you. And, um, and McDonough? Here. Uh, thank you. Uh, we'll have before us the uh, approval of the agenda for January 11th, please. So moved. So moved. We got a motion by McGuire, second by Reinhardt. Uh, roll call, please. Pratham? Aye. Maras Castillo? Aye. McGuire? Aye. Ortega? Aye. Reinhardt? Aye. Carter? Aye. And McDonough? Aye. And our next item is the approval of the minutes from January 4th, please. So Move approval. Second. Okay, we, got, we got Ortega and Maras Castillo. Um, roll call. Any changes or corrections to the minutes? Has everybody had a chance to take a look at them? Roll call. Um, Fratham? <laughs> Sorry, Fratham? Aye. Thank you. Um, Maris Castillo? Aye. McGuire? Aye. Ortega? Aye. Reinhardt? Aye. Carter? Aye. And McDonough. Aye. Thank you. Our first item is the approval of our environmental response fund grant awards. If you recall, we do usually do two of these a year uh, at the beginning and mid-year. And um, we do have a board policy that in general, we try to split these equally between the city of St. Paul in the suburbs, but each award round may not be split equally, but we pay attention to that. And we, we've done a really nice job, I think, over the years, ensuring that we're getting broad investment throughout the county. So with that, if I could get a motion to put that on the table, please. So moved. So moved. Okay, we got a motion by Ortega, second by Commissioner Reinhardt. And then I do believe real quick, uh, we got Max or Martha or Carrie. Somebody just want to walk through the four projects real quick, so the board has and the public has a sense of where we're investing here in January with these this first round. Sure, happy to do so, Mr. Chair and uh, Commissioners. Good morning. Um, so you have four um, uh, requests in front of you, totaling five hundred and thirty-two thousand dollars in funding. Um, they're located at 176 South Robert Street. That is a housing project um, that is being advanced by Schaefer Richardson. Uh, another housing project located in the uh, Midway neighborhood, um, Kimball Court Apartments, and that is 
housing for folks who have recently experienced homelessness and who have additional uh, support needs. And um, that is essentially all these new units are 30% AMI units. Uh, the next is uh, Central Village Apartments. That's an existing building that is being required by the MPCA to do uh, vapor mitigation um, due to a release of uh, tri, uh, tetrachloroethylene. And, and then St. Paul City School is a charter school that is um, consolidating its operations from three different campuses into the uh, uh, Capital Area neighborhood on University Avenue and is requesting funding to uh, expand its campus and uh, increase staff. Thank you, Martha. Any questions for Martha on those four awards? All right, uh, roll call on approval of the Environmental Response Fund Grant Awards. Radom? Aye. Maras Castillo? Aye. McGuire? Aye. Ortega? Aye. Reinhardt? Aye. Carter? Aye. And McDonough? Aye. Martha, thanks for the work. We look forward to a uh, July round. All right, our next item here is amendment to the 2020 Community Development Block Grant Home Investment Partnership Act Annual Action Plan. Could I get a motion to put that on the table, please? So moved. Second. second. Okay, motion by Carter, second by McGuire. Max, I think you're the one that's taken this for us. Just briefly uh, explain to the commissioners and the public what we're doing here with this uh, amendment request here and how it's positioning us to be able to be responding in the community with with these home dollars okay. chair commissioners um any amendment to an action plan over a hundred thousand dollars requires uh citizen participation and um going back through the board process um on this uh, amendment we are moving one hundred sixty eight thousand dollars of unallocated program income and other unallocated funds um, to support the work of housing stability department um, as they offer a family emergency hotel program um, in suburban Ramsey County. These uh, costs will be used to reimburse costs that were expended in 2021. Very good, thank you. Any questions for Max on the amendment? Seeing none, roll call please. Radom? Aye. Maras Castillo? Aye. McGuire? Aye. Ortega? Aye. Reinhardt? Aye. Carter? Aye. And McDonough? Aye. Max, thanks for your work on this amendment here. Um, with that, we have no other items before us. Uh, we'll, we'll see everybody. Oh, Mr. Reinhardt, you have your hand up. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I just wanted to take this opportunity to congratulate you on becoming the HRA uh, chair. Uh, this year, we have an incredible team, as you know, um, and uh, the work that's being done, uh, the excitement behind it, um, our first briefing on this um, really showed the commitment, and I know the commitment of all the board, uh, but as you in that leadership position, and I wanted to publicly congratulate you on that. Yeah, thank you, Commissioner Reinhardt. I'm glad you're the vice chair here. And uh, as you said, our first update meeting, uh, a lot of lot got done and, and exciting here to be bringing things forward here. The Carrie and her team have really been preparing, especially as far as the um, first HRA levy ever in Ramsey County, um, but also as we prepare here for ARPA investments in affordable housing at the 30% AMI. So thank you for that, Commissioner Reiner. All right. Commissioner Preston, you got us at 1.30. We'll all be back. We're adjourned. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Great meeting.